Do I still have to do this? Because I'm sick. Do when I get out, like a note, I write myself a note. Wop up the jam. Swap it. Hey. I'm losing my voice. I know, but you're here. We I have know, but I'm under the weather. Fine. Do it. You, do you think, you know what? Oh, Nurse, okay. crotch it. Any <laughs> professional person will show up. No excuses. All right. What would Kim Kardashian do? Why is that your feeling example? sick? She'd still get into full hair and makeup, and she'd do the show. That's true. Because people and need that's to know. Also true. I know you're right. Okay. Okay. Whoever you're going to model yourself after, fine. If they're going to show up and do the work, right? Okay. Right. No excuses. Okay. WKKD. <sighs> oh yeah. Don't over. Now you're just. <laughs> That was really me. No, you're you're pushing it. Hashtag authentic. That's you're me. You're pushing it. Mommy, can I have some chicken soup? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Do you do you have you know any what? milk for me, mommy? You do, swing down Redondo <laughs> Beach Way, hit the tenderest of greens, and get yourself some chicken soup. Okay. I want it homemade. Because nobody's gonna take care of you and. If I you, went in home mean with some num nums. If you, if you wanted some sauteed rat jambalaya, <laughs> no. you can come over to my house. No, okay. You Otherwise, gotta stop eating those rats. Do you know though? They did a um, a piece in the Daily Dolphin mm -hmm. about how the rat population is significantly lower, and yeah. I know it's from you. One of the reasons is me. The other is my cat army. <laughs> Your cat army? Yeah. Is that after the the actor? What? Isn't there an actor <laughs> named Army Hammer or something? Yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking about an army of cats. I thought I was naming my cat army after Army Hammer. I'm who played twins. I'm delirious. Twins. Let's do it again. Oh yeah. There. Now, hey, let's what's the, up, America? Five, six, ready, womp. Womp up the jams, womp it up. I'm bringing seven to ten percent today. Cause I'm under the weather. And this bitch is making me do it. I might be dying of tuberculosis or consumption or some other olden days thing. I have scarlet fever. I'm the velveteen rabbit. <laughs> You're the velveteen rabbit? Yeah, remember that sad story? Yeah, the rabbit didn't have scarlet fever. Yeah, she His did. The rabbit got infected too, and they threw it out in the trash. You gonna throw me out in the trash, mommy? Okay. <laughs> I want you to, this is one of, actually one of my favorite stories of all time, because it's about love and loyalty. No, it isn't. That is the saddest children's book ever. Never read that to a child. I've already read it to multiple children. No, you I shouldn't have, be. Yes, I have my story corner. <laughs> I have story corner at 1030, and then I have cat army training at 11. Okay? Is this behind the Jersey mic? Story corner. I've been reading only The Velveteen Rabbit. It's a very long book, and we read it in chapters. And the kids are coming back because they want to know what's happening. What parents are dropping their kids off in the parking lot behind the Jersey mics so you can read the saddest children's book ever written— and then help teach them how to train cats? All I said was free parachute fun on my flyer. <laughs> is anytime there a parachute? there's a parachute involved, we sit on a parachute. <laughs> but anytime there's a parachute involved, kids are on board. There's a lot of broken glass back there, though. You need to, like, put some shrubbery or greenery back there. They're learning life lessons right and left, okay? But I, I'm going to read you segments of the Velveteen I Rabbit. I don't want and you're to go there. I'd be too scared. Because you don't have... The story straight, friend. I do. The kid gets sick. The, the rabbit gets it. They throw it out in the trash. And then somebody's like, oh, my God, free rabbit. The rabbit gets scarlet <laughs> fever is what you're telling me? No, That's what you're telling me? The gets the germs of it. And then they uh -huh. throw it out in the trash. Okay. That's what Diane said. She said, while I'm sick, I have to sleep outside mm -hmm. like a dog. Mm-hmm. So I've been making a nest. Maybe in that cool Zillian. night air will help. It has help been with good your fever. for my night sweats. The fever sounds like the fever's doing night a job. Night sweats. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, You're I'm really in rare form. Talking about those hey, night sweats. Tell, tell everybody what they're listening to. Hey everybody, Wompsters, This is Marissa Wappler. I'm uh, God. I don't know how old I am, 
but I am currently a senior at Marina Del Rey Public High School. Uh, hey, you know what? A lot of listeners are making journeys, pilgrimages to Marina Del Rey, and that's nice are to they? see. Yep. I'm getting a couple pics, people at the marina. They're finding out there's not much to the town. <laughs> yeah. There's not much to the town. A lot of big town. hotels down that city center marina area. Right, right. There's really, there's a, mm-hmm. there's a DSW, a designer shoe warehouse. There's a couple Quiznos, a Jersey Mike's, mm-hmm. Jabroni's Pizza, and that's pretty much it. But, pretty much it. Um, um, hey, something to think about, though. I'm just thinking about a money-making opportunity is a Segway tour that we could lead. Mm-hmm. You know how they did in Seinfeld? They'd be like, here's the soup Nazi. Here's the Marina Del Rey you know from Womp It Up. Right. That's yeah. a good idea, right? Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, get it. I, we could do a jet ski version of that as well. Great idea, because a lot mm-hmm. of the things we talk about happen on the water, mm-hmm. uh, on the waterfront. So what are they listening At to? At any rate, this is my po- senior podcast project. Who are you? I already said it, bitch. I'm Marina, I'm Marina Del Rey's Marissa Wampler. Yes, I'm going to get known by that. Known right? by what? By that full name, Marina Del Rey's Marissa Wampler, appearing what? live at Coconuts. <laughs> at a comedy club in Long Beach? It is, actually. Uh-huh. That's where those people got shot, though. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Not on a Saturday night. No, no, certainly not. At any rate, uh, I am part of the STARS program, which is an alternative lo- learning program at Marina Del Rey, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. Spaz Academy. This week featuring parachutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know What? What? I don't know if you need to be doing those radio ads for the STARS program <laughs> because we're getting a lot of weirdos showing up. Remember yeah. that guy in the trench coat who just wanted to show us his dog? That was Rodney. What? That was Rodney. Trench coat Rodney. Nobody had his whole face covered. <laughs> oh, maybe it wasn't Rodney. No, no. That was a guy who thought he was like coming to some sort I of thought a he underground was a trench club. coat. We got so many, you know, one third of our three student bod- body is trench coat. That's right. Uh, but at any rate, I don't know if you need to be doing those. Well, I am. I'm right. using this platform to sell tickets to the Stars Academy. All right. At any rate, this is my senior podcast project, and who you just heard, heard talking is Charlotte Shardog Listler. She's my teacher slash soulmate slash former slipe, sliper. <laughs> it's not, that wasn't funny. <laughs> Nobody laughed at that. You don't get to decide who I am. Uh, former sniper, and uh, we're going to be just exploring the environs of Marina Del Rey, talking to some fabulous guests, Mm -hmm. and we have somebody really interesting. In fact, he's interesting now. He was fucking boring before he had a big life change. His name is Kent Johnson, although he now likes to be known as, what is it, Kent? It's Kent O'Yellow. Now, is that Italian, O-I-L-L-E-L, like a lemon no, shallow? It, it like represents, no, it represents the, the gasping, the awe that you see when you see the color yellow. Interesting. When you see yellow, you say, oh, yellow. Okay. All right, Kent. Well, Kent is a student here. He's actually... Uh, was I'm more in, than a student. Uh, he's actually more of a spiritual leader. That's right. Exactly. In this, uh, just a quick backstory, and of course we're gonna we're gonna come back to Kent. Yeah. But uh, for a more in depth look, but mm-hmm. Kent is actually in my class. So I he's also been here for God I don't know ten years. How long, long have mm-hmm. I been into school? Long time. Very long. Long time, time listener. Mm-hmm. First time caller. And nope. he. <laughs> yep. And he was w- freshman year. I remember. Mm-hmm. This kid is one of those, uh, he's like a ghost kid. You would look at, right through him. Pretty unremarkable. Pretty unremarkable, not interesting. You, you always wore those Charlie Brown, you know, button-ups. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, just blended in with the crowd. I said about 10 to 12 sentences my freshman year. That's right. Didn't say very much. Didn't no. Didn't have much to say. You got real bug eyes, though. So, like, yeah. I definitely, that there was were what you were. There were expressions. That was all I all I remember is just a bunch of eyes in the back, and then we would move on. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. And then you found drugs. Okay, so I did mushrooms with my older brother. Okay, who is very popular. He's the he's best. Legendary. He's the best. Legendary. He's now graduated. Yes, he's now Chad graduated. Chad Johnson. Uh-huh. He works at Lens Crafters. He's Does great. he? Yeah. Yes. That's too bad. High school hero. He's doing good. Hero. He's yeah. he's doing very good. He fits the lenses and the glasses. That's that's not well. Who cares? Because. 
He won every single sports award. He had. They have a shrine, basically, to him. He was the absolute best. Chad was my role model, and I, I always wanted to be like Chad. Mm -hmm. And I realized I was never going to be like Chad. Until one day, Chad handed me the magical fungus, the root of civilization. Mm -hmm. What's that? So you had like a toe fungus or Mushrooms. something? Mushrooms. Oh. Oh, okay. Magic like a psychedelic mushrooms. mushroom. That's right. And you took those, was that the summer between sophomore, junior year? Yes. And I was at a lake house with Chad. I was being locked upstairs. I couldn't hang out with his friends. Okay. And he left me some mushrooms and said, eat these and come down when you're ready. Mm. Wow. And how long? See, you're bugging your eyes. My eyes are me. already bugging. And you know Bug why? Bug city over there. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> starting to remember. I'm starting to remember. What it was like to be on mushrooms. I'm starting uh -huh. to go back. Back to that. To and you've only done it the, the one time? Just or? one time. Just one time? Just one time. And, and you had such enough. a mystical experience mm -hmm. that you were transformed because you showed up. I, I mean, I vividly remember this. Uh, September of your of our junior year, yes. you were dressed like Johnny Depp right. from Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Mm -hmm. Two. From, mm -hmm. the, from the neck down. More mm -hmm. scarves. Exactly. More tunics. Mm -hmm. uh, I had an eye patch. I had multiple <laughs> yes. tattoos. I had, I had flowing, uh, dirty uh, clothes that looked like I had gotten them from a mm -hmm. pirate ship. Mm -hmm. Right. And people started to notice me. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, most people thought you were a new student. Yeah, yeah I, I basically was. And you was. came with a different last name. With a name. different name. Exactly. I kept the Kent only to honor my parents. Thank uh, you for Lord. the name. And thank you to them. But I had to be, I'm a different person now. Wow. God, I can't wait to get into this. So, yeah, please, this is, please. and he's really, he's he's almost achieved Tom Cruise-like mm -hmm. status. I'm not talking yes. the Tom Cruise that looks like an old lady now. I'm talking like vintage Cruise. Exactly. Right. Now, let me just say, you've said that you were sick earlier. Yeah. I might be able to heal you. With what? Your penis? No, no, Marissa. Wow, that's... <laughs> Is the medicine the coming out of the Get tip ready. of your penis? Medicine. You don't need medicine, Marissa. What do I need? The mushrooms? You need these mushrooms. Oh, all right. <laughs> Please take these. Okay, I'm gonna hold these for nap for hold later. Them. I think I say you eat them and they'll kick in in about forty minutes to an hour. You know what? I I'm gonna just discuss with Lissa if she thinks that's a good idea. Please talk amongst yourselves. Should I take these this shit and see what happens or no? You're an adult. No excuses, right? Am I an adult? How old am I? I think you're close to twenty one at this point. Mommy, can I eat the mushrooms? It might actually Mommy. make you feel better. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna have one. Eat how do one. you? How, what do you do? Just chew it up. Just chew it up and eat it. Or now, it Listler, have it? you ever done? Magic Give me a mushrooms? break, man. She's done every single drug on the planet Earth. Is that a yes? I don't want to get fired okay. from any okay. any job. Are that you I may actually or may not employed have. here? We don't know. <laughs> but uh, if if you want to say yes, I, I have an awareness of a lot of the world's healing. You know. Attempts. Great. Okay. okay. Great. That was okay. a little vague. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to just take one. Just take one. And it's not going to kick in for another 40 minutes. Is You'll that be right? totally yeah. fine. But I just want to get you into minutes? a mindset. Right. I want to get so you So right about the end of the podcast, it should start to kick in. Okay. I'm going to take one of these. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Jesus, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, Marissa, Wait, you just that ate was all of them. Marissa, you just That ate. was all of them. You just ate the bag and everything. That was it <laughs> delicious. It tasted... Like what? a porcini, like a mushroom pizza. No, normally they taste terrible. No, they tasted delicious to me. Oh, I was... Those were grown on cow shit, Marissa. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what happens. I must have eaten what... It, how many were in that, that little Ziploc that bag? That was uh, 30 to okay, 40. Okay, well, let's see what happens. 30 to 40. 30 to 40 Marissa, mushrooms. Marissa. How many was she supposed to take? Just one. Oh, shit. I think Why'd you give fun. her the whole bag? Well, listen, we got 40 minutes before shit's going to get weird, so let's just... That's something to just tease. All right. I want to say, Marissa, uh, you're, you're worried about losing your voice. Is that right? I am. Because that's everything for me. Yes, it is. And because what you say is who you are. Is that right? That's absolutely. Whoa. That's an aha moment. What is this, Super Soul Sunday? What if you could be who you are, Marissa? <sighs> Boom. Wow. And that's what the mushrooms told me that one time. That summer, you can just be, be who, who you, you are. are. And who I am? I'm a pirate. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm a pirate with a eye patch. And and, and you lead a band of merry men. I mean, you have so many friends at this point. And Kim. I've renamed all of them. I know you've got summer do summer do summer do. I've got antlers. Good I've, old antlers. I've got crazy Carl. His well, is a pretty straightforward well, one. Also, he was always known, he was as, always crazy known as crazy Carl. We gotta have him on the show. But we gotta get crazy Carl. That kid, on the show. something's fucked wrong with that kid. But he yeah. got kicked in the head. That's why. Yeah, something's He's off crazy. with him. But but I'll say he he asked to get kicked in the head. That's why people thought he was crazy. I know, and filmed it. <laughs> and filmed it. That so. was fucking funny, though. We it was that. funny. What were the other guys' names? Antlers. 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 Summer Dew is a is Summer a Dew. very beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman, and some people think that she's constantly dripping wet because she's showering twelve to thirty times a day to on, feel more dewy. Who's, on whose recommendation? Yours, Kent? Because well, it's like a nonstop wet t-shirt she, contest. She with is. Her. She wants to be dewy. She wants to be who she is. Marissa. Right. And if that. And also, are you encouraging her not to wear a bra? Because well, that's who she is. Marissa. I know, but it's like straight up, just like distracting. Well, Marissa, I wear two pairs of underwear. Why? That's who I am. But why? I don't need to know why. Is it to keep keep it keep it keep it tight? Tight? Yes, I don't want it not tight, but that's who I am. When you're doing a lot of drugs, you're, you're always a real liquid poops. <laughs> is that right? And if you wear Oh two no, <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, this is going to really upset your I stomach. I always first. like I'm already like shitting <laughs> myself like three of drugs. or four times a day. <sighs> I mean, I don't feel anything. Though. I might ask you to gag yourself, but what do you mean, gag yourself? Well, like get it out, like poison M control. Make oh, I thought well, you meant like a, like if like you, if you go because these who knows how long these have been in this guy's britches. You know what I mean? So since, I don't know. Since Were you keeping year? them yeah. in your underwear? Yeah, so between I don't one know layer, how potent they actually that was are. The musty you smell. know because they've been yeah. yeah. That was it. So well, we'll, it could we'll be old. We'll, we'll see what, what happens. happens. Right yeah. now, I'm feeling nothing. I yeah. may just have a body that, because here's the deal. My metabolism is so slow mm. at this point. It's almost like it's almost like what a dead person would have. This like might if you take a few weeks to could, work Could We don't know. We don't know. I'm open. Do you guys have any hot topics that you want to talk about? Oh, right. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hey, will you um, at some point play the Demi Lovato song, Sorry Not Sorry? Why? Because I just want to hear it. I don't have it in my... I'd have to. I have to purchase it. Yeah, mm. do it. Purchase it. <sighs> Come on. What are you doing? Do you see how much you need this song? This isn't. What if you? Didn't? I don't need it. I don't need it. You to don't be need me. it. Okay. You don't need I was just it really feeling you. it on the way over here. I wanted to listen to it. Well, then. if you do need it to be you, maybe you need it. We won't be able to listen to it. Why? Because we'll play it underneath you guys talking. And it, all I mean, right, if, fine, fine, fine. Sorry, that was weird. <sighs> Cut that out. I don't never, think it was. Never, ever Sam, done cut that, that out. No, Marissa, don't, I don't. Sam, he, we don't have that capability. Sam, I want this can't podcast cut to it be out. perfect. Marissa, you sh you shouldn't. You, you. I want it to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. Gotta let it roll. Gotta let it get dirty. I'm starting to get angry now. No, don't. Okay. Nothing no. is perfect, Marissa. Okay? All right. This podcast isn't perfect. We're not cutting anything out. I'm not cutting anything I out I don't want life. you to have an explosive anal blast when you get angry. You know what I mean? I... Got on may or may not. Underwear to catch it. I don't know. Like I'm, a cheese claw. I'm Only good the with, the, with the underwear. The finest All right. particles will come through. All right, listen. Let's do some hot topics. Let's do them. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. What is this? Some fish? Is this no. the Grateful Dead? <laughs> nope. What kind of jam band is this shit? It's from the musical Hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty off. Well... Somebody should sue them because they're ripping off fish. I think they were before <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Because it's ding. about, you know, late I don't want to see a bunch of naked people unless they've got good bodies. They did. They all had great bodies. They were all like 18 years old. Hey, you know what? Uh, someone needs to send a memo to that. Did you see that student production of Equus where everyone's uh -huh. full bushing it? There's like yeah, two na it. there's like the naked those two drama mm -hmm. geeks from uh, sophomore year. I thought it they're was they're getting totally fantastic. naked. Really? Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Ugh. The freedom I, they're showing up. Work there. out. You know what I mean? I didn't want to see Harry Potter naked, but I had to. Mm. What are you talking about? You saw the product Daniel Radcliffe's production? Yeah, of Equus. And he had worked out just his upper body, which was really disturbing. <laughs> lower body just a mess. And well he the got lower it. half was a horse. He got a teeny tiny peen. <laughs> How do you work out your penis? That's his wizard's 
<laughs> That's his, his wizard's wand. How do you work out your penis, and can you? I don't mm. think you can. What if I told you there was a way? <laughs> to, to lift a weight with your penis? What if I told you that your penis's strength is only as strong as your aura? It's a muscle, right? It is, but I don't think you can build it up. There's only so much skin. You have to skin graft, right? Well, you guys are thinking about the physical. I'm thinking about the mental. Are you lifting barbells with your penis? Is I'm, that what you're saying? Through the Wait power, a second. Through the I power did hear of concentration this. and through, through the discoveries I've made through mushrooms, I'm able to lift very heavy weights on my penis. Wow. Erect or flaccid? Both. Both? Have you seen those videos where they hang weights from men's penises? Yes. I'm able to achieve that through the power of mushrooms. Whoa. That's like the penis. What was that? Puppetry of the penis. The puppetry of, puppetry the, penis. of the penis. Yeah. The hunchback of Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd love for if you could do any tricks for us. Did you bring any barbells with you? Well, first you have to just do mushrooms and experience okay. mushrooms. Okay, Sam, could you run out and grab some uh, mush? Uh, some sorry, we already got the mushrooms. Yeah, we got the mushrooms. Can you grab some barbells from uh, the weightlifting gym? Mm -hmm. And some paper clips. Great. And some string. <laughs> this is a real MacGyver situation. This will be great. We're well, gonna I'm just trying to prove to you guys that there's a way to better yourself that's beyond what they're telling you at Marina Del Rey. But what if you didn't have to prove <laughs> and you could just wow. be you? Wow, <laughs> like, you just blew. My mind. You're, maybe the mushrooms are kicking in, Marissa. They might be. <laughs> they shouldn't um, be. <laughs> so just the very beginning of this podcast. Okay. And nobody wants someone fucked up for an entire podcast. No, very true. No, sir. Yeah. All uh, right. Well, we don't topics. have time for hot topics. That what? was our first segment. So we're going to break. That's, I guess we're just going to have to keep it loose. Loose and low. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like Kent O'Yellow's ball sack. Amen. <laughs> Wait, is this a break? What? Is this a break? Yeah. We're okay. going to break. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mommy. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Does anybody have medicine from their penises? <laughs> 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 I just spilled a bunch of water. Hi, I'm Cameron Esposito, and I am so excited to bring the latest season of my show, Query, to Earwolf. That's right, Earwolf is now Queerwolf. On Query, I've interviewed some of the brightest luminaries in the LGBTQ community. That's what it is. It's like a hour-long chat show, like a WTF, with me and another queer guest. I've had musicians Tegan and Sarah Quinn of the band Tegan and Sarah, actors like Jeffrey Boyer Chapman and Evan Rachel Wood. I've had transparent creator Jill Soloway, activists like Madden Lopez. The season premiere is out now with special guest Emmy winner Lena Waithe. Listen and subscribe to Query Today on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Earwolf.com. Oh, yeah. Demi did it. This is going to be me. <laughs> For what? For life. I like that. Because you know what? After I do these mushrooms, I can start dressing like Danity Kane. Oh, oh, oh. Do it, do it, do it. Gotta put on contour makeup. Oh, yeah. False eyelashes and get my titties up there in a corset top, yo. Wow. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Because <laughs> what I'm noticing is that your go-to, you know, what you're modeling yourself after lately is... A Danity Kane, a, a Kim Kardashian. Now, these are very far from who you truly are, and and also your latest mission of being just tr straight up authentic. You don't what you're know doing is who I am on the inside. Exactly. You're gonna Thank put you, a kid. corset top on your pyramid <laughs> body and think about what's gonna happen when you squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Okay. And also with the contours on your face. I mean, <laughs> when you walk into a room. You know, people think one thing, and you got to be okay with just being yourself. That's where you. I that's disagree. The road. I actually I have disagree. To disagree. You're I have to disagree. I okay. have been very inspired by Kent's transformation. Mm -hmm. I see. And let me tell you something, Listler. When people used to see me, uh -huh. they didn't used to see a pirate. They used to see a kid. 
I don't yeah. know if they see a Just pirate. Just a pair of bug now. eyes is Look what they saw. Look at me now and tell me what you see. He's uh, a leader of men, and he's on the high seas of life. Who got real fucked up once and put on an eye patch. If I cover one eye, it's less bug-eyed, so people are noticing We just that see less. one eye. That's fucking, that's like the, the eye you put in the middle of your head, right? And that's the, the all-knowing eye. The third eye. eye the that's the third eye. eye. Exactly. How is that other eye doing, though, that's been constantly covered up in a patch? Are you losing any vision in that eye? It's it's slowly like losing, losing size, yes. That's, what do you mean by size? It, it does it, start to shrink. <laughs> no! Which part? The it, whole eye? The whole eye. because The eyeball? The iris? I've been told it's dehydrating my eye in a way that's shrinking it like a oh. grape turns to a raisin. You Wait, could, so you need you to understand. Just, put liquid in it. Yes, but that's not who I am. Yeah, but I just want to be real clear. Mm-hmm. A lot of people make some crazy fashion choices, Mm -hmm. hair choices Mm -hmm. in high school, Mm -hmm. and you regret them. Mm -hmm. What if you regret getting basically evolving yourself out of one of your eyes? I will never regret that. Okay, I don't know about that, Kent. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to check back in with him in ten years. You know what I'm thinking about is how you know in our life. Okay, Mm -hmm. we go on multiple journeys, right? Right. You're in the pirate phase right now. (sighs) If you okay. make a choice right now to serve the pirate phase, what's going to happen when you get to the wolfman phase and all right. you have are your eyes to rely on? Well, you that's, know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're fucking looking you, for rats Because you in the didn't always look like this, Listler. What did no. you look like when you were 22? Exactly. What did you look like? Exactly. I'm, no, I'm asking you what you look like. What oh, did you look like? I see. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> wow. Well, I you, had. You were a homemaker then, right? In the Midwest? <laughs> yeah. So what, did you look like Donna Reed? Is that where you no, were no, at? No. That's just TV's version of a homemaker, mm. right? Did you look like Roseanne Barr? No. That's, again, <laughs> TV's That's, version. That is a direct TV reference. Yeah, and when I went, you know, when I went into the armed forces, because I went into the armed forces and then took a break to be a homemaker for a while. Right, mm-hmm. and right. they made you shave your head like G.I. Jane, right? I made forces? I made me shave my hair like GI Jane. I see. Yeah, okay. I didn't want anything to hold me back, including my long braidable hair. Right. I see. So I shaved it off, and then when I got home, it started to grow in real kinky curly. <laughs> oh, okay. Kinky curly. Yeah. Mm. Real tight. Real tight curls. Yeah. I don't know what if like st- almost if like stress. an African American's Some, hair came mm. back into your scalp. That's right. Mm. It was sort of. Uh, I think childbirth changes your hair too. Like oh, the hormones that you have in your body when you have a baby, they your hair. Grow, you know, you lose a lot of hair during childbirth naturally. Well, also, mm-hmm. August it, Wilson's father is African American. But why would that make my hair? <laughs> his jizz turned it. Yeah, you no, never know. His jizz no, gave you an afro. I don't think so. Maybe. But that was the way I was wearing it. Was like a real, like a one inch <laughs> afro, <laughs> like the, yeah. like the news anchor Roz Abrams from the local yes. news in New York. Yes, yes, exactly. It was like, and then I did a fade for a while. Right. And then I started writing that was like in your, mantras. But the fade like, was in your kid and play shaving face, them. right? Yes. Well, yes. Let's, can I ask you a House question party about face. this time? I'm here. On the inside, <clears throat> yeah. did you feel like a black woman? Is that why your wow. hair grew out like an African-American woman's? Interesting. Is that why you went into a kid and play phase? It sounds to me like subconsciously you felt like a black woman and i think and that's okay that's okay if you want I'm trying that. to hide that yeah. though like i feel very com- connected to the african american community Great. yeah but for multiple Kent, reasons but Kent, yes i want to just raise this concern okay antler mm-hmm. has been pulling a what i'll call a soul man mm-hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> scenario yes yes now Kent, this that's is that's not Funny. Like, this is something I, that I have. It wasn't concerned. funny when he got suspended because that is blackface. Now, this is what I I told Antler. I call it a soul man scenario. That's probably less PC than blackface. Now, let me just say, as an African-American man. That was a movie that was produced in our lifetime. I understand that. I told Antler, he said, I think I'm a soul man. And I said, Antler, if that's what you think you are, here's the shoe polish. 
I know. That's you tough gave him the shoe stuff. polish. I gave him the shoe polish. I don't know if you should be admitting that. I and did. also, why shoe polish? Why not a natural makeup? Oh, well, because be shoe polish is the trend, is the traditional oh. blackface makeup. Well, it was a shock. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that Monday morning <laughs> Look, was. Look, I'll say, I've learned a lesson. Wow. A shock. Maybe we went a little too far with the blackface. Wow. You know, Possibly. You're right. But I, you know what was a super bummer too for Antler <clears throat> and his parents yeah. and his grandparents mm-hmm. who threw him out, which it's pretty tough, which really showed some racist some tendencies real, on their parts. His family, yeah. But that he couldn't get it off. He couldn't, and yeah. he had to live and that now, way for a while. Now Antler is essentially black. I know, just, and his, just face, his face, though. just his face. But you know what? He's discriminated in a different way. People just think he's crazy. Yeah. And that, so that, in a lot of ways, is part of his divine path and his journey. It's what he thought he was on the inside. And guess what? That's what he is now. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you've really turned me around on it. Thank you. So if you want to be Kim Kardashian, go for it. Thank you. Contour away. Contour away. Mm -hmm. I got to figure out how to do it. That's all. We're going to look at some YouTube tutorials. That'll be the easiest thing we've ever done in your (laughs) entire life. Why? You know how to do that? Yeah. How do you know all that shit? You don't ever wear makeup? Not now I don't, but I used to. I went through a whole like working girl phase. Great, 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 great. Okay, yeah. good. Contour, good. Contour We're going to do a, a makeover during the break because mm-hmm. nothing podcast listeners like more than a makeover they can't see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. They love it. We're going to do uh, What's Cheesing You. Do you know about this segment? I, yes, I do know about this segment. Okay, so this is just whatever's bothering you. And I know that you're a pretty easygoing guy. It's going to so be might tough not have for you, Kent. Much going tough. on. It's going to be right. tough for you. But I know both of us are riled up about shit, so. Right. Yeah. Think about it, right? Yeah. 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 What's Cheesing You? What's Cheesing You? What? What? What's Cheesing You? What's the first time? What? What? What's Cheesing You? I've ever seen a guest not be shocked by that. What's Cheesing You? Nope, nothing. No, I'm I'm so calm and comfortable with myself that I can't be thrown. Also, your wow. eyes, your one eye that I can see is perpetually bugged out, mm-hmm. so you can't really can't widen really, those irises really any more than you already Did I ever tell are. you about the time that I saw the cat that had... <laughs> I don't this like that. This, is, cat, this is, okay. is this what's cheesing you? This is one of the cats that I saved that I rescued to my cat army. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> you know what I thought was so cute, by the way? When you made that leader cat have a little beret and a tiny little French flag. Mm-hmm. And then built like a bunch barricade. of sticks, like yeah. a barricade yep. that they could climb on. That's that right. was cute. Thanks. We do calendars now. We're working on some calendars. <laughs> Great. I can't wait. It takes wait. a long time to just get one photo, so I'm not sure when that <laughs> calendar is going to be ready. I love it. But Thank that'll be for in uh, July, which is when the French... Um, Independence Bastille Day. Day. Yeah, exactly. Can't Excellent. wait. Uh, so when I was... Um, this this happened twice. This one of the cats I rescued. This happened to. This is why I knew what to do. But when I was a child, I was staying with my grandparents, <laughs> and uh, we went out to go to the doctor's office. And I hopped in in the car with them, and they started up the uh, engine, and I heard a. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and no. uh, and my grandmother started no. to get real upset, and I was like, no. "What happened now?" No, one of the cats had crawled up into the Their engine cat? of the car. That's correct. Oh, no. And because uh, it was cold, it was cold. It was you know during probably December. Well, they should have had that cat inside. No, no indoor cats. Not not you know not on your watch no. apparently. So. Uh, the cat had been sitting on the engine when she revved it, and uh, it all I could see was that was an eyeball had been literally pulled out of the cat's face, maybe two inches, and oh, no. she threw that cat in a towel in the back of the station wagon, and we this headed into town to the vet's of the office. Darkest <laughs> and I remember sitting there, you have hearing, ever told, and you <laughs> told a lot of dark stories, hearing that cat bounce around in the back of that station wagon. <laughs> Because it was, it was losing its mind. Its eye had bu- been pulled half out of his head. And this is the goddamn truth. So anyway, <laughs> for any cat, they had to take the listeners, eye out. Listeners, lovers, they this had is to a take trigger the eye out. warning. They trigger. had to take the eye out. And Why the cat did it bug lived. out? Something got a hold of it. Pulled you got to be careful. 
I got it. You got to be careful, Kent. You're right. Because that's your eye is already what, bugged out. That's you got to right. be that careful. That story reminded me of. So I, might I just throw want a, you to keep that in mind. I don't, might throw a patch over okay? the other one. You might. Don't warm yourself up on any engines. I won't. Thank I won't God not. it doesn't get too cold in Marina Del Rey. All right. What's Again, cheesing us? For what's any cheesing cat us? lovers, <laughs> listeners, this is a trigger warning. That was a disturbing story. I think trigger warnings happen in the way Very early. Beginning. So people well, know not missed, to listen. We missed our opportunity yeah, on we've that. We've been giving uh, late trigger warnings on all these apps. For those of you who are on listening all to this these backwards, epi epis. That this about to, uh, real. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Me speaking it backwards. Okay. Language. Oh, I got it. Got it. Got I've, it. I've got something that's cheesing me. Oh, that's a surprise. You're going. For, okay. Go, yes. Go Ken, for it. Go for it. The cafeteria staff. They... They're lovely women. They are, and I love them. Are you talking about Teensy or Tootsie? I'm talking... I'm talking both T's. Teensy and Tootsie. I like to take a very long time to pick my lunch. 20, 30 minutes. That's yeah. too long, though, when there's a big you've line. Only got, and you've only got 20 minutes to eat the whole thing. I, but, but I... I and most I, often, you don't even have a choice. You're right. Or but you I, have... I like you know, to run my hand choice. over the food and see what speaks to Touch me. Touch it? Well, sometimes well, I teensy's graze not, it. Teensy is not going to stand for that because she's got a hairnet. She's mm-hmm. got, you know, they've got real, like, guidelines. They have. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, what's cheesing me is that there should not be any guidelines and I should be able to touch all the food. I don't know about that, Kent. I don't know about that. What, what, what? Well, because you've been very public about how you don't believe in toilet paper. Yeah, well, I don't wash certain parts of my body. I want right, so to take that experience. This with isn't, your hands you are know, always at half mast in your in your in your britches. Yes. Exactly. So nobody wants you touching that. And I got to stand behind Teensy and yeah. Tootsie about that. Okay, fine. How I'm cute just... is it, by the way? They're twins, Teensy and they and work Teensy. together. And twins. <laughs> and and twins. twins. We got to have those girls on. They're Let's great. see if I can get to their PR people. Got to get to <laughs> They're probably still working, right? Yeah. Well, they, work all they were beautiful twins back in a beer commercial many, many years ago. I'm Wait, sure no, they're I'm still working. Wait, no, I'm talking about Teensy and Tootsie. You think oh. they're the original beer twin, like Budweiser <laughs> I thought, no, twins? I thought you meant the girls from the commercial you wanted to have on. You know what, though? That would be interesting, would be wouldn't good. it? That because be I good. bet Teensy and Tootsie were very beautiful back yeah. in the day, and they have let themselves go. Yeah. That's we a should. cautionary tale. We should find out. If they want to talk, yeah. they want to spotlight on themselves. Yeah, Kent, I got to tell you, I cannot right. endorse that Fine. one. I really can't. Fine. Mm-hmm. I take it I take it as it is. Also, please stop touching that microphone because other people have to use it. I need to. Th- okay, fine. I'll okay. rub my my face on it a little bit. <laughs> Why? Why? I just said don't touch it. I just Why would you rub my face on it just uh, a little bit. Maurice, do you have anything that's cheesing you or What's should we move on? No, you know I never prepare anything. <laughs> yeah. What's cheesing me, I guess, is... That I need some milk, mommy. No. <laughs> mm. No, but I here's, you know what? Here, I'm going to say what's teasing me, mm-hmm. okay? People don't know how to take care of other people, mm. okay? And mm. I'm real sick right now, and I need some TLC. Mm. And I'm not getting it, even from you, Listler. Got my hat, wow. hands full with a bunch of cats. That's not an excuse. Oh, really? And I think we need to... Really say to ourselves, what does this person need? So, what we, for instance, let's just spitball. Mm-hmm. What what do you think would soothe me? Hey, maybe don't come to work if you're feeling so bad that you need to be. I can fetch some sweet, sweet chicken soup <laughs> wow. by your mommy. Wow. You know what I mean? Do you know why I'm here? Because I'm being forced to sleep outside like Snoopy. Mm. And and now, and there was nobody taking care of me at home. And yeah. I'm out of snacks. And so I'm in here. Hoping, hoping that bunnies. somebody will just like do something for me. Do you, know right. what, do you know what I could give you? Uh, is it coming out of the tip of your penis? No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Never be coming out of the tip of. Never penis. alluded to that. I just feel like it's. <laughs> that's just sort of where these cults end up. I can give you some empathy, Marissa. Okay. I, All right, validator. I, that's helpful. I hear you. Oh, God, that feels like a warm bath. And I see you. You're seen. Thank you. That really means a lot to me, Kent. Thank you. I'm so glad you could give me some soul milk, mommy. <laughs> That's what you needed was soul milk. <laughs> Again, right sounds like you're going to take your dick out, and I'm really not no, that interested. soul milk doesn't come from the dick. It comes from the third nipple. 
What is that? It's the, it's the all feeding nipple. Mm -hmm. Do you have a third, third eye? Nipple? It's the third, third eye nipple. and the third nipple. It's a theoretical nipple. Yeah. Okay, good. Because mm -hmm. if you have a third nipple, I do have I a third nipple, but that is just a. Do yeah, you that's really? Just, that's just like one of the ones, you know. This is making a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. Chad, perfect physical specimen. Two nipples. He has a younger brother with bug eyes like that don't quit mm -hmm. and a third nipple. Mm -hmm. You were destined to become some kind of crazy shaman. kook. Shaman. <laughs> well, you think I'm a crazy kook, but talk to me when you've self-actualized. I will. Kent, thank you. Listler? Yeah. Any gripes? Well... If you leave your child in my care, mm. is this about the parachute club again? <laughs> <laughs> Understand, life lessons will be learned because mm. I am not going to dumb down my What'd you get in trouble for? For three to five year olds sharing life truths. What did okay? you get in they trouble for? They are old enough for? to understand things, concepts like death. They are understand. They are old enough to understand concepts like self care. How did you care teach them about animals. death? We put a cat down. <laughs> did not put a cat down. All right. Thank God. No. We read The Velveteen Rabbit. Okay. Does someone die in that? Sort of. Okay. And then, listen, in that story, that rabbit gets. Loved. I don't want to know about it. What? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm sad and I'm scared. Anyway, we ended up. Doesn't the rabbit get a doing new home? surgery on a little cat? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. And we saved that cat's sight mm -hmm. in one eye. In one eye, we had to take, the, we had to sew it up. Okay? What? What were you using to do that? I was using anesthesia. And you I, were making the kids hold down the cat? They didn't have to hold down the cat. The cat was out, but we were all, they were all attending That's like, it, not like right. witnessing a surgery. And so they went, you, you were creating like a Grey's Anatomy type scene in the, right. in the parking lot of a Jersey mine. You know yeah. what? That's on those parents. They shouldn't be dropping their kids off with a stranger in the parking lot of a Jersey Mike's. If you do that, your kid's going to see some crazy shit. I think they saw exactly what they needed to see in that moment. And a lot of those kids are going to go on to help the world. I'd agree. All I, right. I Thanks. think the learning needs to come with the parents. Anyway. Again, this is a trigger warning for the Don't cat lover listeners. Don't step to me with, with your parent, you know, with your BS about what, what your kid can and can't handle. Because it's free. Yeah. What you're I'm offering the only is parenting free. that child is getting, clearly. Maybe right, it's what, what I mean? you can't handle. Yeah. Right. You know and I mean? it's only $35 a drop off. So I don't know what the problem <laughs> Wait, is. Wait, I thought it was free. No. You're charging $35? Yeah. Somebody got to pay for these cat foods <laughs> and the litter ads. bees. <laughs> Right? All right. And now, cheeky soup. <laughs> cheeky soup, man. Okay. Well, actually, you're not paying for any of that because you have yet to give me anything that I need. You got soul milk coming out of a third nip <laughs> over here. Just suck that up. All right? There you go. A lick. Hey, guys, I'm still not feeling anything, just so you know. Yeah. I feel just like That's myself. That's fine. I, I'm starting to think that you're feeling more and more like yourself every second. Mm, I am. Interesting. I am. We in the club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. We rocking out. We rocking out. Things that the boys don't like. Wow. Nope. She's self-actualizing right in nope. front of us. <laughs> nope. Show stopper. Show, show stopper. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to a break. <laughs> Too many girls in uh, Sanity Kane, don't you think? It's a girl group. But there's like 12 of them. There's five of them. There's Same like, amount in the Spice Girls. And like one has is good looking. No, all of them are good looking. But you don't know what they look like without their makeup. That's my point. Exactly. Mm. We'll be right back <laughs> with more Womp It Up. <laughs> Bit safe at home. If I was in L.A. Hey, I'm Hari Kundabolu. And I'm Ashok Kundabolu. We're the Kundabolu Brothers, and we're excited to tell you about our new podcast on Earwolf, Kundabolu Brothers Podcast. It's a live podcast where we discuss some of the harder issues of the day. You will be witnessing two brothers talking to each other and occasionally acknowledging the audience. We discuss such topics as World War I, Keenan Thompson, pizza. We're excited for you to listen to Kundabolu Brothers every Thursday on Earwolf. And don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you like to listen. Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. Different lyrics. Okay. 
You tried. You're trying. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not far off from. Mommy, I meant some. That's what I was thinking. I'd give me a- some chicken soup, please, right <laughs> now. And my skirt's too short. Mama, please, please, cold. <laughs> You know, but that's what what's interesting about Danity Kane, and yeah. I don't want to be so topical. Um, I wish are they still together? Are they still? No, together? no, no, no. They are not. They are not. But they did have a recurrence. They they released a, that sounds another like album. a recurrence yes, of an does. STD. But there <laughs> were all there was Danity a lot. Kane there shared. were a couple really talented girls. You know, this came out of the making of the band with P Diddy, right? Yeah, I know. So it came out of a but show. But they're just like. I got this cold sore. Did you give it to me? <laughs> hey, Danity, did you give it to me? <laughs> this is who you are, Marissa, on the inside. I know, mm, but what I was thinking is, I was thinking a couple things is, mm. I was reading a lot about French women, and mm-hmm. they use a very soft voice. Yeah. They're never screaming like I am, and I and that's one of their allures. They create a bit of mystery. Mm-hmm. And then I'm thinking about Danity Kane, you know, arguably mm. some of, some of the most uh, feminine women mm-hmm. or the K- Kardashians. Right, right. And I'm wondering if I want to have more luck with men, do I want to start taking naked baby? You That's- came in t- thinking you might lose your voice. Maybe that choice is yours. Well, maybe I found my voice and the ah, voice yes. is of a tiny baby, yes. little baby girl. Can I take your penis, <laughs> You're becoming a better person right before okay. my eyes, Marissa. I really am. You're not listening to the words coming out of her <laughs> mouth, I fear, because she just said, can I suck your penis, mommy? Okay. <laughs> now that, that was an unusual thing to I be understand. said, I feel like. I understand. And that is a red flag is also what I'm going to say. I feel like maybe some. T- I mean, yeah, we take mushrooms and we become the person that we're always meant to be. Yes. But I'm feeling like I'm going to lose a friend. <laughs> If that's the case, because I'm not going to be able to be around this shit. Well, I, there's always going to be a space in my rainbow Cadillac for you. We in the club. Mm. We suck in dicks. Uh-uh. Mm. No, no, no. We taking it up. Hey, the hey, 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 you hey. You want? Keep it. All right. All right. Well, we're okay. KIC, keep it classy. <laughs> oh, God. All, All right. right. We've got Listler's Love Lockdown and we've got Spotlight. Well, on. we better Ooh. get going. Do you want to do Listler's Love Lockdown? Yeah. It's not playing. There's no music playing. <laughs> there is no music playing. There's music playing in my currently. head. I think it kicking in. Okay. There's no music playing. What if I find out I'm the lost Kardashian? I've always felt like I don't really belong in my family. Uh huh. And I'm just like the one sister that is like in Marina Del Rey, like mm. trying to find my way back home. It's yeah. possible. It's definitely possible. It's not at all possible. I have as much body hair as an Armenian. I know that. Very okay. True. We're going to offend every single <laughs> ethnicity on this podcast <laughs> because, I mean, there are maybe 10 people listening to this, and some of them, I'm going to guess. Are Are Armenian. not. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Armenian cat lovers, this is a trigger warning. (laughs) All right, this is Listler's Love Lockdown. We're going to answer some questions from our listeners Mm. who have written in to get advice about love. Ooh, all okay. right. Now you've got a Marissa who's very sick <laughs> requesting <laughs> chicken soup in a baby voice and also on her way to being high on mushrooms. And you got a dude that I don't know what, this what guy he's does. on. I'm a pirate. But I can't wait. <laughs> you got you a Jack Sparrow with a this bug eye and a jizzy whizzy. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is a very long letter. I'm going to try to pick and, and choose. Dear Miss mm. Listler, another Valentine's has come and gone and I'm alone. Why? Mm. I'm a fun lady with a healthy appetite for a romantic adventure. The problem is I live in Squaresville, USA, oh. aka Arlington, Virginia. All right. As far as the eye can see, it's vanilla guys in polo shirts who want to talk campaign finance reform. Gross. I could not be more bored. I did run into one fellow who piqued my interest walking up the main thoroughfare of our county. I spied him coming toward me in a pair of leather pants and mm-hmm. Chuck Taylors. So this one's got to have some fun hobbies, right? Not to mention he's gorgeous. My heart skipped a beat, but I had only moments to think of something to say. Okay. Then I noticed he had earbuds in and probably wouldn't hear me. What are you going to do? As we passed each other, all I could do was point at my ears. 
and shout, hearing anything good? Oh, no. <laughs> you know what oh, he replied? no. What? I'm whomping it up. While he oh, continued down the shit. street. I should have dropped everything right then and there. Wait, do you think he meant he's listening to Womp It Up? Yes. or Because the phrase, we didn't invent the phrase. Yes, we did. No, you can womp up, womp up things. No, you can't. Jam. Yes, uh, you yeah. can. I feel like you invented it. You invented no, we didn't. You can Look it pump up. up the jam. This you is find like it out. Kent. You can pump it this up. This is like Kent telling everyone that he invented the phrase "cool beans." I well, I that 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 okay, you were the first person to come fine. up with "cool beans," and then it it it, it spread across the country. Fine. This anyway. was three weeks ago, and I haven't run into him since. Shit. Although I've been wow. loitering in the area. So I turn to you. Is he What a ghost? do I do? How do I find him? He might be listening right now. And if you are Leatherman of Arlington, I am pretty sure we are soulmates. I'm the girl in the trench coat and combat boots. Please get in touch. Mm. I passed the corner of Wilson this and is legit. North Pierce Street practically every afternoon okay. love lauren lou listen 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 if this guy is listening and please, he's please interested let this be happening. Yeah. and he's interested we will we will at your you guys, wedding when, also, when does this come out what day of the week this is going to come, come out, out on tuesday a, tuesday over so Monday let's night. say if if he hears it during the week saturday of the week this comes out yeah go down to the same pier and meet her there. No, I don't want her sitting there waiting for a man that might never come. What I was thinking <sighs> is email us. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. They, this yeah. isn't a fucking Sandra Bullock okay, movie. Okay, I thought there was a more romantic If it came out, if he's, but he might not be caught up. We don't know what We episode don't know he's when or to. where. Very true. Yeah. Let's not very have true. her sitting out there and her dangling her Every combat Saturday boots over the for pier. The rest of, <laughs> for the rest of her life. You that's guys will much. find each other. You're no. Right. This it's meant to be. be. No, let's let let's take out all the variables. She's email right. us to this gentleman. Email us to wampupthegyms.com. We will connect you to. I love that. Leather pants and what was Leather it? pants in Arlington. We're going to come trench coat and combat boots. And mm -hmm. if it works out, we will officiate the wedding. Mm -hmm. All right? Deal. That's, that is, I'm not joking about this. We're coming to Arlington. Right. This is official. Or... You're coming to Marina Del Rey. Exactly. Okay? All right. Deal and deal. Done and done. done. Sounds good? Deal or no deal. <laughs> also, maybe try mushrooms for both of you. Again. All right. All right. Yeah, when you get together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Hi, Womp and List. My wife and I like to keep the TV on when we fool around. It helps to muffle sounds from our kids and keep the Ugh. romantic atmosphere from being too serious. We used to keep Outlander on, but it was like having softcore playing in the background. It became too distracting. We then switched to playing house. <laughs> oh, no. no, no, no. Is this real? But we'd occasionally <laughs> peek over and get caught up in the show and start laughing. Is what, this real? What's a good show to play in the background that isn't too distracting? Okay. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for writing in. Uh, I think I've seen Playing House. It's that show. Yeah, with starring these two. Well, I'm so, not. First of all, superstars. I'm not surprised. <laughs> That that playing house is on your boner jams because yeah, those that, bitches yeah. be Sexy fine. As hell. Yeah. Sexy as hell. They in the club, mm -hmm. right? Right. They you know? are, and they're just keeping it right and also yeah. tight. They got great right hair, they're and, amazing, and a great command of of the jokes. So I I understand <laughs> that. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What What would you fuck to, Listler? Me? Yeah. What TV show would you put on if you had a TV? That uh, and your houseboat usually, wasn't okay. filled with. Here's cats. the deal. That usually takes planning, right? And mm. what gets me off is no Getting planning. Taken it's by just surprise. Like, snake, snake. You know, and then you're just in the closet yeah. or you're in a whatever. I hear you. Women do like the art of surprise. Spontaneous. We like it to be spontaneous. Mm. And you know, here's another thing that a lot of men don't know. I would say 99% of women. Now, I haven't done a Gallup poll on this. Mm -hmm. All right. We, okay? can ask, we can ask our listeners to, mm -hmm. to, to write in. To tweet at Womp It Up Pod and they let us know if this, they agree with this. They want to be thrown on the bed. And I want to bring, I wanna bring up <laughs> Outlander up. Thrown on because the bed. Because that guy in the kilt, he yeah. is giving it to that woman every day. Yeah. Every which way to Sunday, okay, mm -hmm, and he's mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and he's throwing her places. Now right. in this cr current climate, though, 
I don't know if it if you should be throwing anybody anything. I just mean I don't mean throwing you like a rag I doll. She, I think I you mean, mean like once consent is already off the table. Right, everyone's you want so on swept. the table. It's on the table. It's on right? the table. And we've agreed to it. <laughs> you want to feel? <laughs> not all, I mean, the mystery of the consent table. is off the table. Got it. You want to feel like somebody can't wait right. to ravish you. Right. Yeah, and yeah. I don't think there's yeah. enough of that. They're these hungry days. for you. They're mm-hmm. hungry for it. Yeah. Exactly. So what I would suggest is. How about take a break from the TV? Mm. Surprise her. White noise. You got a sound sleeper on your app, fo- on your phone? Use white noise. Use Nothing white noise. gets you hard like a little <laughs> white noise. Or Some have static. it be the ocean or, or mm. a rushing river. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, role play. Oh, my God, we're camping down by this rushing river that's coming right. out of our mm-hmm, iPhone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. Put down a blanket and... And cook up some s'mores. Mm, not that bad. I like s'more. You're s'more. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I would suggest the Americans. Not a lot. Oh, happens. that's some hot stuff. Not right? a lot happens, and it's pretty hot. So that's that, what I. Yeah, would because say. she has to fuck lots of people, right? They she both does. do. They both do. They do. That's hot. That's hot as hell. I'll tell you what. They that do show. A lot when of you're getting paid to have sex, ass mm-hmm. heel. They do a yeah. lot of sixty nining on that show. Oh God! In a way that's like I don't think that's real. <laughs> hey Kent, if you want to be doing some sixty nining, you might want to take off that eye patch because well, that's going to be scratchy. Because you know okay. what, the eye patch you're wearing is mm-hmm. from a costume store. Right. You don't even have like a legit. <laughs> I bet. So that shit's not made of like a good fabric, like a breathable fabric. All right. Last question. All right. Okay. I think I'm <clears throat> killing it so far. Woo. Here's my question. I'm a sex ed teacher and I got asked a question I didn't know how to answer. A seventh grader asked what cum tastes like. Uh-oh. And I didn't know what to tell them. Because They oh, asked it through the anonymous question box and then wrote on their anonymous survey that they were wishing I had answered the question. What oh. would you tell a middle schooler? Thanks from Stumped and Sex Ed. P.S. Oh. I answered the question by saying, quote, everyone is different, but I guess if you're really curious and a male who has started producing semen, don't you eat can your find own. out don't eat your for own. yourself. No. End quote. That's a tough question. Wow. And, tough and question. you know what's interesting is I feel like was that middle schooler actually asking mm. or were they trying confirming. to be conf- – <laughs> What do you mean confirming, oh, Ken? Maybe they wanted to – They want to make sure what they tasted was <laughs> normal? <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, that is one of the things That's I think thing. as a middle schooler you want to know is that your experience is the same. I'll say. As that. everyone else is that. Because when mm. the first time that one of those sex things happens to you, you're like, oh, no. Right, like is I'm an this alien. Normal? Right, this is, is definitely this not normal because know, it's weird. I know when right? I was in middle school, I wanted to know if my sperm tastes normal. You drank it? No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Kent, don't. No. no. Stop saying it like that. Then we know. No. It tastes like like a like a pedialyte. Like you were having you know, a like sperm a, smoothie. Electrolyte. Got a little salt in it. Got a little oh. sweet in it. Depends on what you eat. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's not funny, guys. Don't laugh at that shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, what would you tell? What would you do if you were this teacher? God, I don't know. I'll tell you what I would do because, mm. again, I'm with three to five year olds. We're learning about the stuff of mm-hmm. life. Please don't make it this kind surgery, of surgery, death, mm-hmm. <laughs> afterlife. We're getting because they have the big questions. Wait, were you I doing have the like, big a fla- like a cat flatliner <laughs> type of situation? Bringing it back from the dead. Well, you shouldn't mess with that shit. I don't want any zombie cats. Cat are walling around Marina Del they, Rey. They come back different. <laughs> they come back different. If we learn anything from Walking Dead, they come back different. I first of all, we don't want this to become an HR nightmare. But you are mm. a sex ed teacher, and you are the safest place for them to learn the answers. Okay. okay. Now, short of somebody drinking their own <laughs> juice, which maybe which isn't what suggest. we want. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's probably there's probably nothing wrong with it technically. Right? You no, you'll be fi- you'll be totally fine. You can't, uh, <laughs> Kent. This is why, honestly, you had to make a change because you were that weird bug-eyed kid <laughs> who sips on their own jizz, I know and who that's I am. you got to make. A I know big who I am. Change. Now. I know who I am. Well, don't remind us of who you were. We want to know too where this is coming from because a lot of these questions are are out of fear. So right. we want to assuage fear, right? That. I think she answered it perfectly correct, actually. I think what her answer was. What if it was, was a girl asking, though? Mm. What do you mean? What, how would we, we change We got a that? middle schooler 
who's about to S a D and it might be too soon for that. And they want to know before I do this, am I going to choke on nasty jizz? Like, <laughs> okay. So I'm saying like, that's a conversation you want to open up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. As an educator, you want to say, are, are you guys thinking about if, doing if that? This is what we're thinking about. Then maybe we, we should have a conversation or make a safe space for questions to be asked of this teacher so that, Interesting. You know, yeah, maybe you call you bring that teacher aside and say you want to taste, taste my shit. <laughs> what? Uh-oh, I think it's kicking. I think it's kicking in. Ah! We in the club. Okay. Can I give you a can I give you a quick surprise, Marissa? Uh-oh. <laughs> that definitely <laughs> sounds like your dick's I realize that out. one. That We're going to wrap bad. up the bag as you do this. <laughs> please, please. This is the qu- question bag. What's the, do you feel do you feel better? Do you feel How many bag bag? Do you feel better? Do you start to feel as though that you've you're starting to feel closer to who you really are, Marissa? I am. Hey, is that a smoothie you just made? I'm so <laughs> thirsty. Don't drink that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's delicious. A okay. little bit sweet, a little bit salty. Ooh, mommy. Okay. What's well, in this? I. All right, if you want to write in to Listener's Love Lockdown, ooh, I can't stop drinking this. You can. Womp mm. up the jams, J A M Z at gmail.com. And we are really flying through these questions. Is that so the please, taste of pineapple? Please write in. We'd love to. Answer your question. It's just an actual okay? smoothie. It's fine. Just, just oh, God. Smoothie. I'm so relieved. It's fine. We would have had to bring a mini blender. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what? Are we on break? <laughs> oh, my God. No, we're not on break. <laughs> we're in the middle of it. I wish we were because I we're would love to take a nap. the middle of it. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> we in the club. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, time for Spotlight on. Can you handle it? Of course I can. Do I look like I can handle it? I just had a jizz milkshake and I'm ready to rock. (laughs) Okay, that's not what it was. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome, everybody, to one of my favorite segments. It's called Spotlight on, where we peel back the onion. That is Kent Johnson, nay, Oh, yellow. Can't tell you no, he wasn't born. <laughs> oh, yellow. He was born Johnson. And then he chose Oh, yellow because he's always high. Kent, let me start with this. Yeah. Is it true that you hosted a ceremony in which you married yourself? Yes, it is 100% true. <laughs> tell me how you came about the decision to legally wed yourself. I. This was illegal? It was absolutely. Well, he's at least 25 years old. He's been in high school for at least 10 years. Sure, sure. I was. That makes it legal, right? To marry yourself? It's the age. It's the age. (laughs) The age (laughs) that we're talking about. Okay, just. just. I was showering Mm -hmm. and I was washing my body. And I don't do this that often. Yeah, we know. And I started to notice. Wow, I like my body. Oh, I was really hoping this had more of a spiritual. So then I basically had sex with myself. Oh, mm-hmm. but oh. it just started just there. masturbation. It guys. just started. We all there. do it. Okay, yeah. and this then is listeners love lockdown. I started taking myself on dates. No, that's nice. Self care. <laughs> I like this. Caring for myself. Yeah. What kind of date would you take yourself on? I'd go on a hike. Oh. And I'd walk through. Would you make yourself a picnic basket? Absolutely. And I'd sometimes throw stuff in the from the fridge and not look so that I'd be surprised when I <laughs> when I opened the basket. This is some <laughs> nice suggestions for people who want to do some things for themselves. For themselves. Yeah. And I realized I was in love with myself. Nice. So I took myself down to, the, to City Hall. Down to City Hall. And I witnessed myself get married to myself. And they allowed that. They allowed it. Appar- I thought at I least was, Antler would have to be there or, nope. or uh, Summer do. I was old enough, so they said, this is fine. <laughs> You're married to yourself. And that's actually how I changed my name. I took my self's last name, Oyelo. Wow. That's an inspiring story. So, yes. And, and, and I only was able to figure that out about myself through the power of mushrooms. The power of mushrooms. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kent... Take me back Mm -hmm. uh, to where it all began. I will. To the Johnson household. Yes. Are you still in touch with your parents? I live 
in the backyard now. Do you outside? Me yes. too, right now. Me Are you? too. Well, <laughs> wow. Well, we have, must have a lot to, in common. Huh? Yeah. Right now, now, why was that your choice? Well, yes. I took all my stuff from my bedroom, and I'm living <laughs> under my trampoline in my backyard right now. <gasps> you know what? I remember mm -hmm. that you guys were one of the first families to get a trampoline. And here's the deal. You get a trampoline, everyone jumps on it right. for a summer, right? right? And you were getting a lot of friends that you didn't have before just exactly. to get on that tramp. And then <laughs> people forget about it yeah. and it gets covered in leaves mm -hmm. and everyone's like, shit, why mm -hmm. did we buy this fucking mm -hmm. trampoline? And, and then you get on it after a couple seasons of non-use. And, and it's all hole. rusted. It's someone <laughs> gets breaks hurt. and someone breaks a leg and has to get a job that's at right. Landscrafters. Right, but that's right. and that's what ended your older brother's, brother's football, football career. career. Exactly. Right, because he had been drafted by the Rams. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Straight out of Marina Del Rey High School. Straight wow. To the Rams. Wow. And, and on a and on a visit home, mm -hmm. he hopped on the tramp with you. You were there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he fell through a hole, mm -hmm. and he broke his leg. And that was the end of it. What did it? What was that like for your family to lose such a star? Well, it put a lot of pressure on me mm -hmm. to sort of figure out my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and um, you were living under Chad's shadow for so long at that point. And mm -hmm. now I live under the trampoline that that the shadow of a trampoline that took Chad down. So yeah, I, I, it it's hurt our family a lot. But I'll say I'm doing a lot of self exploration. My family, all I can tell them is to do mushrooms and figure it out for themselves. Right. Yeah. Right, and right. they're not into that, Chad. No, well, really Chad don't obviously like it. at that at that point was open to drugs. That's right. what turned him to drugs, right. mm -hmm. if I remember right. correctly. Yeah. he was still hot as hell. He was very hot. He's always been hot. Now he's druggy hot. But when you when you break your femur, mm -hmm. you know that's you're not going back to the NFL. Exactly. What did you see when you first did mushrooms mm. that changed everything for you? Do you remember? I was visited by an entity. Mm -hmm. Like a Slimer type of situation? It looked a lot like Slimer. It was a floating blob. And it said, Hey, Kent, look at this. And then I was flooded with the color yellow. Hence, so yellow, the last name. Mm. And then we ate breakfast. We hung out for a while. You and Slimer? Yes, yes. We hung out for a while. Uh huh. We what is Slimer order? Uh,. There were like some scones. You guys and went out, out of cigars. You went some out cigars. to breakfast? We went to brunch. Oh. We got some scones. I got French toast. <coughs> Carb heavy breakfast. Yeah. Because for lunch, we were going to go to a barbecue place. So me and Slimer, we went to this barbecue place. Ken, and, are you fucking with us? Oh, no, no, no. This all happened. You okay. got to In you your mind, trust in me. your third eye. In my mind's eye, this all happened. All right. And then we went to the barbecue place. Cut to the end, please. This okay. is exhausting. Okay. It's so, like, I don't want to hear about what somebody okay. had at a restaurant. Okay, okay. It's almost as boring as how many okay. steps are on your Fitbit. I'll cut to the end. So me and Slimer were atop the pyramids of Egypt. All right. And he looked me in the eye and said, Kent, you are a pirate. A Johnny Depp. Pirates of the Caribbean mm. pirate. And that's it. And that was it. Yeah, then I, I came back and I... Do you tell that you... this? That was the first time I've Okay, I've I'm going to tell you something it. right now and I want you to listen to me. Okay. Do not ever repeat that story. Uh, what? Don't... It's boring. <laughs> it's, it doesn't have a beginning, middle, or end. I didn't get and to listen the middle. To me. No, no. Okay. The middle sounded just as bad. We went to dinner. Listen okay. to me. Listen to me. Okay. Listen. Okay. You were going to get to it. Zagat's review okay. of the barbecue place, whatever that is. Yeah. You don't want to lose your followers. Right, And right. you're going to if you share that story. You That's like when you get to the 10th level of Scientology and you realize it's there's all about things hey, right. and aliens. You know, right. there's a lot of powerful people in this town <laughs> subscribe to that. Let's not throw not everybody anymore. under the bus. Not anymore. Hey, and also, power. everybody's going to hear Ramini. this story. We just recorded it. Oh, fuck. Well. We can't cut it out. You know what? If I lose followers, fine. What will you have, though, if you lose... What will you have left? I'll have my... Your scarves. My You'll scarves. Have those. I'll have my grape eye, my little raisin eye, and I'll have my confidence. <sighs> All right. How, How are gonna... you feeling? Um, I feel really clear-headed. Uh-huh. Like, hold on. Give me a book. <laughs> hey, Sam, can you give me a book, please? Here. Oh, my God. Go. See, like I can read. If anything, this is making me normal. What if I told you, Marissa, that 
I didn't give you mushrooms. What did you give me? <laughs> Just some antidepressants. Like... <laughs> yes. Woo! I'm on Zoloft, bitch. Ooh, I feel good. I feel like I could accomplish a task. Mm -hmm. Is there any long division anybody needs me to do? Um, seven hundred divided by ten. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Seven. No, I, maybe long division is it? Seventy. <laughs> Seventy. There you. There we go. Good. But I recognized a number. Yeah. That's oh, this that's is great news. Wow, I, I, I got to get a lot done today. I'm going to go to the cleaners. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, get my uh, car registration updated. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is going to be a great day. I knew you weren't ready for mushrooms, so I just sprinkled <laughs> some Zola. Put on me some, on an antidepressant. This on is some fabulous. Actual on mushroom. some actual mushrooms. Wonderful. Dried mushrooms. Delicious. So. Wow. I feel so regular. <laughs> you know, I feel so good. I'm this glad is great. I could help. I'm this glad I could great. help you. This is great. Listler, yeah. I just, I feel like if anything, I could re-enter the curriculum of a real school. Let's not. <laughs> well, we'll see how we feel in 24 You're hours. welcome to come 1030 on a Tuesday. Jump under the parachute. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to read you the last chapter of Velveteen Rabbit, and it's going to shatter you. Shatter your heart wide I'm, open. I'm prepared for it. I think you're ready. I think I'm prepared ready. for it. Thank you for coming today. Thank it's you been for a real having treat. me, guys. Thank, thank you, you Kent. And thank you, listeners. Again, if you love cats, if you are Armenian, <laughs> if you're on antidepressants, this is a tr backwards trigger warning. You're not going to want to listen to this. All right? Bye, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Wop it up! <laughs> This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Hey everybody, it's Paul Shear. And I'm Amy Nicholson. And we have a brand new podcast called Unspooled, where we are watching the 100 greatest films of all time. Voted on by the AFI. We're going to be starting at number one, Citizen Kane, jumping to number 100 with Ben-Hur, and doing films that we've never even watched before. And we'll be talking to experts, whether it's a cinematographer or a stuntman. We're going to get behind these movies and figure out what makes them so great. So if you like the way this sounds, why don't you subscribe right now to Unspooled, wherever you listen to your podcasts.